let's do a complicated modeling in SOLIDWORKS. So if you read notes, all dimensions are in millimeter, material is steel polish finish, fillets 3 millimeter, all fillets, all chamfer 2, 2 millimeter 45 degree. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you this is the front view. And uh, there is a two section view A, H. Let me check this H. See, this is the bottom view. So we will start from bottom view. See, 125, 125 corner fillet 20 millimeter and center to center 160 millimeter. And what, what is the thickness for this? You will see here. Here you will see two thickness, 21 and 19. 21 is included one small step. 19 is actual thickness if you see this is side view see here 2 millimeter thickness is added for this flange which flange i'm talking about this flange see and there is a hole 6 hole 13 dia throughout hole and how long we need and then is uh, one more thing we need to extrude this center body 105 millimeter and you will see there is a small step and this is the step 6 millimeter but we will add it later first we have to 191 millimeter from outer to outer face 3 millimeter you have to subtract I will tell you how first let me choose any one plane so I am going to select top plane sketch and activate here center rectangle okay first i am going to add a sketch fillet make corner 20 millimeter and select all rectangle okay finish now activate smart dimension and center distance 125 plus 125 okay now this distance 160 now see this is fully defined the sketch extrude and this is going to be 19 millimeter so keep plane same but end condition direction see it is moving up upside so keep as it is now let me select edit material and apply here material okay a color so that uh, it looks better now select this face sketch now again I am going to select center rectangle smart dimension 105 millimeter okay now extrude this how much we need to extrude okay let's calculate 191 minus 19 because thickness already added here minus 3 from top side 169 so here keep end condition blind and see the arrow it is moving upside so it's okay 169 millimeter say okay we have to add this 6 millimeter outer face you will see here 6 millimeter and what is this you will come here front view see there is a rectangle 144 is the length see then this hole we will add later and this upper portion this one see 3 millimeter added so we will do it later but let's add this one and there is at bottom see 14 radius and uh, there is a hole m18 okay we will 18 into 1.5 depth thread depth 10.5 hole depth 12 millimeter okay let's keep this one select this face sketch now this time i am going to select corner rectangle again i am going to select line go back to the point and see the line automatically convert into arc 
and connect make few relation hold shift key select origin point and center point leave shift key and you will see this option pop up vertical smart dimension let's define now according to drawing it's 144 this one 14 radius okay take it down smart dimension and distance from bottom face it was it is 26 millimeter look this is fully defined a sketch if you want to trim just simply activate power trim and press and hold left mouse and drag see this is trimmed okay now this is completely one profile if you extrude it will directly selected by default and condition blind and here you have to add thickness six millimeter that's it i am going to select here a sketch now here i am going to add those circles so i am going to select first circle activate circle tool start from here to this now activate line tool and i am going to select horizontal now activate trim entity and trim this hold and press and hold left mouse and drag see this is trimmed okay now activate here linear sketch pattern now here select any one sketch a length this is going to be and here i am going to select these all lines Now distance, here I am going to put 125, reverse direction and number of instances 3. You will see here, ok, activate smart dimension, just simply define the dimension, it will be fine, ok. This is fully defined sketch. let's extrude and this is going to be see it is moving upside two millimeter thickness only say okay see i am going to select these faces and i am going to add some dark yellow color okay let's mirror this activate mirror first you have to select reference plane right plane and feature to mirror i am going to select this feature say okay look this is mirror hole wizard and i am going to select here simple hole metric here i am going to select drill size and here even you can find out from here or simply say show and here you can put your diameter diameter 13 or even though you can find out from here 13 that's it now here keep end condition up to next position select this face now keep cursor and you will find center point place if you keep cursor near edge you will see center point just simply click and place at center point press escape key to out of this selection now see isometric view now look say ok see the hole is created if you select the hole ok we change now at top we are going to add this circle 200 millimeter thickness 13 millimeter and distance 346 from outer edge see then there is one rectangle also 90 by 105 107.5 millimeter from here to here and this thickness also you will see here 3 millimeter see 
so we will add this also select top face sketch activate circle Two hundred millimeter. Now hold Shift key, select outer face, and select the outer side. Three forty six millimeter. Right click, OK. Select the center point, origin point, and center of hole. Horizontal. Now again, I am going to select one corner rectangle. and this is going to one hundred five ninety five ninety millimeter okay make few important rules vertical again smart distance now distance from here to origin point uh, not distance uh, distance from origin point to outer face 107.5 it is near see this is fully defined sketch now extrude Now in selected contour choose only this, uncheck this one, 13 millimeter is the depth, make sure you selected whole circle or clear and simply choose whole, uh, outer edge. Now here I will choose offset 3 millimeter, now look, make reverse. Now look 3 millimeter upper side rest below side below of the body. This is what I want. Say OK. Again activate select the sketch extrude. Go to selected contour and choose this rectangle only. Three select here 3 millimeter only. OK. That's it. I am going to select these two faces. Edit yellow so that it looks better see you will see this section view of this a there is a inside one big cutout but before going to create this cutout <coughs> i'm going to create this hole this whole diameter where we will get okay we will get from here 61 94 millimeter from bottom face and this is throughout hole and uh, if you see there is one more hole 90 54 46 32 remember this one and this is lies at the center of this so just reverse select this hole sketch activate circle draw one circle smart dimension this dimension 61 and distance from bottom edge it's 94 millimeter hold shift key select center point and origin point and leave shift key and you will see this vertical activate extruded cut feature and here i am going to select all okay that's it now right plane sketch now let me save this model ok let's finish this one ok let me again activate hidden line visible activate line tool if you move cursor you will see center point of this
ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्योमेट्री एंड देर इज वन दिस सर्कल लेट मी चूज सेंटर लाइन फॉर दिस ओके दिस इज द बॉडी सेंटर लाइन सो कनेक्ट दिस बिकॉज इट इज इन साइड द होल सो नो नीड टू मैटर वेयर एग्जैक्टली दिस लोकेशन सेलेक्ट दिस एंड पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट एंड मूव कर सर एंड यू विल सी दिस बिकम डायमीटर सो दैट्स वाई आई चूज दिस लाइन एज ए कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन नाइंटी मिलीमीटर सिंपली आई एम गोइंग टू चूज दिस वन फिफ्टी फोर मिलीमीटर ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस वन थर्टी टू मिलीमीटर सेलेक्ट दिस हाइट फोर्टी सिक्स मिलीमीटर look the drawing is fully defined full view now go to feature and activate revolve cut feature now see this is open because of this construction line so it is asking you would you like to sketch to be automatically close say yes now define this line as a you will see in yellow line the preview Keep end condition blind and angle of rotation or cutting angle should be full 360 degree. So I'll keep 360 degree. Say yes, and here we go. Look, cut. I am going to apply. Let's check right view, section view. Okay, and look how we created this. Now let's make this section view. Ten millimeter see the parallel, and these cut out here you will see ten millimeter or thirteen millimeter from upper edge, eighteen millimeter from here, and from bottom you will see thirteen plus six. It's nineteen millimeter. Okay. Then at bottom we have make this slot cut out. How you will do? You will see this side view. Forty, eighty five, eighty five, forty. Select this face sketch. Let's make this bottom cut out first. Corner rectangle. Now select these two upper lines and make relation collinear. Smart dimension. Eighty-five. This is also going to be eighty-five. And distance from outer edge forty. At both side. some relation created here so leave this relation and the height of this 6 mm okay select this bottom and this it is fully defined extruded cut i want to cut this and select here through all see now select right plane section view right again select right plane sketch okay let me select line select these two lines and check section view and i am going to select this way select this inside line hold shift key select this line make relation parallel A smart dimension let's make the relation between this 10 okay comes here and distance from here to here 10 mm 13 mm from upper line and this outer 18 mm 
and uh, you will see in drawing distance from here to this 13 millimeter and uh, distance from here to here 191 see now you will see here the depth in this is in section view see inside cut out 87 millimeter now and uh, one more thing there is one more cut out 116 millimeter 70 millimeter extruded cut and here keep end condition mid plane 87 see okay that's it now let's cut make cut out here then it will be more clear corner rectangle seven millimeter seventy millimeter one hundred sixteen millimeter and uh, the center distance for this rectangle is hundred and sixteen millimeters select this point and this point vertical look this is fully defined sketch extruded cut and here keep end condition up to next so that it will cut only up to wall say ok now I am going to make this cut out and these all cut out different color so that it will dis distinguish for us whole wizard now I am going to select here a straight tab metric top uh, type is bottoming tabbed hole we, we are going to make tabbed hole now here uh, it's uh, difficult to find what we need 18 into 1.5 so diameter of this and depth we need to define from here according to drawing the depth is 12 millimeter but and this is you have to keep shoulder not tip because hole all, always count up to shoulder not up to tip now this is the thread thread is less than the depth 10.5 <clears throat> here check this one thread with call out go to position now select this face and keep cursor and you will place at center press escape key to out ok I am going to select option documents property detailing and here check the shaded cosmetic thread option and here look now here there is a 6 hole 6 number of holes 9 diameter depth 15 m10 into 1 the thread depth uh, 12 hole depth 15 see the dimension again hole wizard same tabbed hole straight tab bottoming and here only we need to change m10 m10 into 1 if you check this is the diameter 9 blind hole depth 12 millimeter 15 millimeter up to shoulder depth 12 millimeter for thread <coughs> position now select this one now first activate corner rectangle select here for construction ok now select this point and see activate the hole now place at all corner and mid of this point escape key to out 
स्मार्ट डायमेंशन 87, 116 एंड दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बॉटम 116. नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस सेंटर पॉइंट होल्ड शिफ्ट की ओरिजिन पॉइंट लीव शिफ्ट की एंड यू विल सी दिस पॉप अप वर्टिकल दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड स्केच से यस ओके सी यू विल सी दट होल लेट्स मेक अ होल कट आउट सी दिस पिच डायमीटर वन फिफ्टी देर इज सिक्स नंबर ऑफ होल्स नाइन डायमीटर एम टेन इज दी थ्रेड थ्रू सी द पोजिशन हियर फोर नंबर ऑफ होल्स सिक्स पॉइंट एट इज डायमीटर थ्रू एम एट इंटू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव फोर नंबर ऑफ होल्स and there is cut out 55 70 and this this whole cut out you will see from here 86 mm this is located at center of this hole i'll make a hole here corner rectangle seventy fifty five and distance from outer edge it's 86 mm hold shift key select center and origin point and make relation vertical extrude cut here choose up to next only don't make throughout otherwise it will cut all many things now let's make here hole so i am going to hole wizard tapped hole a straight tap tapped bottoming and here m10 into 1 show custom 9 is the diameter depth i am going to select up to next position select this face and create here circle Select for construction. One fifty. Right click. Okay. Now activate here. Select this point and activate. Okay. See. I'm going to select color change, and you will see the preview. circular pattern first direction i am going to select this edge circular edge now here equal spacing 360 degree we want to rotate the hole and six number of holes i want feature simply select the hole say okay and see six hole again hole wizard straight tapped hole m10 into 1.25 uh, this is not m10 it is i'm m8 into 1.25 and these hole there also up to next which thread call out position select this face now before going to create any position create rectangle select this rectangle for construction this is important now again activate point now place the hole at point uncheck this center rectangle if if you miss then now you will see the four preview say okay look 
द होल इज क्रिएटेड Let's see this side wall. One twenty outer, inner radius eighty. This is cut out actually. Then the pitch diameter hundred. M ten into one, thread depth twelve. This hole. Twelve, nine diameter fifteen depth, and uh, if you see here. See this depth, three millimeter from outer and seven millimeter inside one. Okay, now one hundred five is width minus eighty seven, divide by two. So nine is the wall thickness. Seven plus three. See this side three, this side seven plus ten. So nineteen millimeter is going to this one. So let's make this in both side. Select this face, sketch, activate circle, diameter one twenty, distance from outer side eighty six. And from center bottom ninety four. Add extruded boss base. Now here we have to go in two direction. Okay, direction one and direction two. Direction one outside three millimeter. See three. The second one is nineteen minus three is sixteen. Okay. Now, if I am going to select evaluate measure, select this ins out this face and this face, you will see here delta. Normal distance seven. This is I want seven millimeter. Okay. Now, go to his feature hole wizard. and see is straight tap tapped bottoming hole now here m10 into 1 up to next no, not next here the depth is show this depth given 15 thread depth 12 hole always count up to shoulder not up to tip so we will go up to shoulder position i am going to select this face escape key to out and select circle and uh, select this circle for construction smart dimension one hundred now act Okay. Activate point and activate now. Place at this point. If you see preview. Okay. Now let's check. Okay, this is not throughout. Circular pattern. Now first, I am going to select one circular edge for reference purpose. Equal spacing three sixty angle. Six number of instances. Now feature directly you can choose this cutout, and you will see six number of preview. See. Now let's mirror. Now here first we have to choose reference plane. So right plane is the perfect thing. Feature to mirror. Now comes here. You have to choose many thing, even this circle also. See. Okay. Select this face, sketch, circle, and let me draw one circle. A smart dimension. This is going to be eighty. 
नाउ होल्ड शिफ्ट की सिलेक्ट आउटर सर्कल एंड इनर सर्कल एंड क्रिएट रिलेशन कंस्ट्रेन मेक कोसेंट्रिक दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड एक्सूट कट नाउ इन दिस केस आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट एंड कंडीशन अप टू नेक्स्ट नॉट नेक्स्ट अप टू सरफेस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस आउटर सरफेस सी इट इज क्रिएटेड Hold Shift key, select these two faces, and I am going to edit this color yellow, so that it clearly make. Now let's create important fillets. All fillets are uh, now these edges have fillet. You will see there is a fillet. This corner also seems fillet. this corner also seems fillet all four edges now outer face also seems fillet now see this is also seems fillet so whatever possible fillet i am going to take fillet constant type select now in fillet parameter i am going to select radius 3 mm symmetric full view tangent now i am going to select this all edges even you can select hidden edges just move cursor over and i am going to select these edge also these edge also even from inside also if you check drawing okay now at back side you will see there is one cut out 75 width 47 if you see in section view this is the cut out Inside all radius three millimeter, fifteen millimeter from outer face, fifty seven millimeter. So let's come here, a sketch. Now activate center point arc. Start from here to here. Right click exit. Now select first these two points. Line. and connect now smart dimension 47 and width is 75 see even let me add fillet here 3 mm okay but this is 15 mm away from this wall so how we will cut go to extrude first we have to choose start from 3 offset 15 mm it is going to start from outer side so simply change direction from inside now look this is going to inside direct now depth is 57 mm see okay now check see fillet 3 mm now let me add fillet to this bottom face now select inside edge these all have same 3 mm fillet okay 
just check right section view okay and here we go now at bottom face there is some more holes see 9 diameter depth count this is a counter bore hole with thread 15 depth m10 into 1 this is the pitch depth of thread 12 see this is 52 and uh, 85 this center 194 from here select hole wizard straight tap standard metric type bot bottoming hole and this hole is m10 into 1 is already show a custom sizing 9 mm is the actual uh, hole up to shoulder and depth of the hole is going to be let's 15 mm now thread thread is i am going to keep 12 mm wire with thread call out position select this face before going to allocate better to apply right click uncheck one rectangle select this rectangle here for construction now activate this point uncheck now see that there is a one hole added at center so just simply delete center point now add hole at all center smart dimension 52 85 and center to bottom 94 mm one more thing hold shift key select bottom uh, origin point and center point and make one relation vertical see this is fully defined this sketch see hole let me check section view right plane okay see this is how we create a complicated model in solid works i hope you like it now activate chamfer add here angle distance 2 mm and 45 degree and chamfer is going to add to this to this and the last one this okay check right plane section view okay now this is how we create a comp complex model in solid works with the help of features i hope you like it Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.